Good morning to you. I am Mark Suddeth, and here's what's up in the tropics for Friday, the 22nd of July, 2022. In the Eastern Pacific, things are starting to calm down just a bit. Estelle has dissipated, and we don't see any additional areas that look like they are going to develop anytime soon. Overall, computer models are backing off the one after the, uh, the other pattern that we were seeing as of late. And of course, in the Atlantic Basin, things are very quiet. Gulf of Mexico, Caribbean, generally not much happening. There is a tropical wave that has brought some much needed rain to portion, uh, portions of the Northeast Caribbean. There it is there, moving to the north of Hispaniola. And if we slide the animation over to the east even more, the deep tropics between the islands and all the way out to the coast of Africa, generally nice and quiet, just a little bit of thunderstorm activity associated with a monsoon trough right here that is oriented southwest to northeast between Africa, extending several hundred miles out into the open Atlantic. The main story, though, is this. Look at all the Saharan air, dry, dusty, warm air dominating a vast majority of the Atlantic Basin right now, and that is going to be the case for the next several days. It's just the pattern that we are in. That's part of it. And secondly, I remind you, it is part of climatology. Late July, this is a very normal thing to see, not much unusual about it, and that is why the hurricane season usually doesn't ramp up until even later in August, a month from now, that's when I would expect things to change naturally. But as we look here at this tweet from Ben Knoll, it could start a little bit earlier than that. Uh, more rising motion over the eastern Atlantic, setting up potentially the odds for increasing tropical development. And as Ben says here, rising air over Africa, that could invigorate the easterly waves and the sinking air would be over the Pacific, sort of flipping the pattern a little bit as we end the month, you know, within the next week to 10 days or so, and then getting into the first couple of weeks of August. All right, I'm out in Arizona dealing and studying and observing with the monsoon and the heat out here. I'll be posting reports about that across our social media platforms. So if you have interest in the uh, Southwest monsoon, be sure to check that out. All right, that is it from me for this morning. I'll talk to you again tomorrow morning on the What's Up segment here on Hurricane Track. I appreciate it again. I'm Mark Suttoth. I'll talk to you again tomorrow morning.